Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Omochuku, depending on your location. Please note that Victory Express is your own channel where you get the authentic and confirmed news. Please like and share so that other people will get to know what we are doing here. It is also very important you turn on your notification bell so that you will be getting updates as it is happening. And more importantly, always go to the comment section and drop your comment. We accept your criticism and appreciate your commendation. Now the news updates. Nigerian soldiers petition President Buhari accused Brigade Commander Gambo of withholding 12 million Naira operations allowances. Right. So some soldiers of the Nigerian Army on Operation Hadin Kai in Adamawa State, does not East Nigeria have petitioned President Muhammad Buhari over unpaid operational allowances. Yes. The soldiers numbering 38 stated that the commander of 23 Brigade Yes, Brigadier General Mohamed Jibril Gambo has withheld their four months operational allowances. That's what the soldiers are saying. According to them, they are being owed a total of 12,312,000 naira for four months operational allowances of 81,000 per month per soldier. Now, this includes 40,000 Naira operation, 30,000 Naira feeding, and 6,000 Naira habit allowances. Now, the soldiers urge President Buhari, National Assembly, Minister of Defense, and Army Headquarters to wade into the matter to safeguard the military professionalism. According to them, we have been dumped in the barracks without accommodation, without food, and other basic necessities. We had to rent houses among civilians. They are lamenting. The position has been there, all right, and it has been witnessed by some media organizations, including Sahara reporters. The soldier said, We, the Nigerian army personnel that were inducted into Operation Lafia Dole as far back as 2013, have been in the Operation Theatre till death. We wish to appreciate the Army Superior Authority for providing everything necessary for us to discharge our duty professionally. We have not complained of any ill treatment, not until the present commander, Brigadier General M.J. Gambo, took over command of the Brigade 23 Armour Brigade, Yola. We, the soldiers, since 10 years after induction into the operation, have not received our operational allowances, feeding, and habit allowances due to, due to us as December 2022. That's the petition added that the commander claimed that 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 they have been pulled out of the operation, but findings revealed otherwise because up to uh, up, up until date records from the finance contain allowances bearing their names. Now, when contacted, Brigadier General Gambo admitted that the soldiers were pulled out due to downsizing the operation. Since they have been pulled out, they cannot be paid allowances for no operation done. He said they are here in the barracks with us, and within a week or so, they will be transported back to their various units. That's what he said. So, but the point remains that the soldiers, or the soldiers, are being old. They are not being received. They are not receiving the allowances, even as it is mega. We have seen the allowances, so it's not uh, you know um, it's not a new thing. But you know there have been suppression. The soldiers are not meant to, you know, to express themselves because of their rules of engagement, yes, and the operational guidelines. So they're not meant to express themselves fully concerning their welfare. But because, because it has gone to the point that they cannot bear it any longer, so they want to express themselves. They are letting they are letting their frustration out, okay, and that is what is happening in Nigeria. They are being old. Yes, soldiers, those who are welding gowns. Those who are protecting the territorial integrity of their country. Yes, in quote, territorial integrity, isn't it? Uh, so uh, they are being old. You've seen it. Nigeria is in tatters, it's in shambles, nothing is working. So for those who wanted to join the army, I think there's no, you know, something that is enticing there any longer. Nothing makes one to be, to want to join the army to protect the, the integrity or the territorial integrity of his country. Because like we have said, Nigeria is a contraption, it's not a country, it's not a nation, 
It's just a mere geographical expression, like I've said. And so people are now willing to defend the country itself. And those who are in the leadership position of the military hierarchy, they're not helping matters. They are looters themselves. They are looting resources or the money meant for the soldiers or for oppressions. That's what is happening. That's among the reasons why you see this uh, war on terror has remained intractable and uh, we seems to you know, have no end in sight because of these factors. Okay? They are corrupt. The military hierarchy, they are corrupt. They are looting money meant for oppression. They are siphoning it. We will tell you the amount of money the chief of Army army staff. Okay? Talking about the one who is in Benin Republic now, as ambassador of Nigeria in Benin Republic. The money he looted for, uh, from the army for almost uh, uh, six to seven years, he stayed in the army as Nigerian chief of army staff. You see, so, uh, and his colleagues too, in other service, like uh, the air staff, uh, the air force, the, me, me, the, you know, the navy, and what have you. So that is it. To a country that cannot even pay its, the allowances of its military. You have seen Nigeria said, oh, they are the gent of Africa. They pay themselves as oil, com oil, oil producing nation. They're in the OPEC. All right? You see the number, uh, the amount of money this country budgeted, budgets in a year for its military personnel. And you begin to hear these kind of stories. You ask yourself, this corruption we're talking about, that President Buhari said he fight to, to stand still when he was campaigning for presidency in 2014 against 2015 elections. You want to ask yourself, where are we now? As administration is about to wind down, barely four months remaining. So what are we talking about? If the military can be using out this kind of corruption after eight years of Buhari's administration, that means that the man have come to this nation for over eight years, exacerbated everything. Things have gotten worse. All right, the man, he didn't do anything to change the course of things. People were shouting terrorism, killings. People were shouting corruption. People were shouting bad economy. And they said, change, change. And the change came. Literally, they know that the change is in human being, in the, in the form of someone in Asherok. That the man bearing his name, who is from so place, will not be the person again there with such religion. Okay, the religion will change. Religion of the president of the country have changed since 2015. The name changed since 2015. Okay, the ethnicity changed since 2015. The tribe changed. The creed changed. The people surrounding him changed. And that is what Buhari wanted. That's all. He was not in any way prepared to govern Nigeria right, to change things, to make amends, to improve on where his predecessor, you know, you know, you know reached. Okay, just to change these things we have just said, this pecuniary and uh, you know, I said, yeah, the other things that will never bring development, rather, is retardation and backwardness.